Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Now this is going to be an exercise. And ideally I'd say uh, I'd recommend doing it sitting down in a chair. Of course if you've got a toadstool you can sit on or a big mushroom and great if you live in some kind of fantasy world but I li- I sit in chairs and um, what we're going to do is it's quite a simple thing it's a mixture of two different things I'm thinking of calling this the Ringo Star uh, or the Ringo release or something like that because we're going to be tapping our knees with your hands so part of this technique it's actually quite a lot of messing around and talking about fantasy big mushrooms sitting on stuff that's not really relevant but this is a good technique for relieving stress because you're going to get in touch with your stress level so maybe I've annoyed you right at the beginning you, you know if you, you're tuning in to listen to the recording and I'm going on about sitting on mushrooms and toadstools and you're thinking what the hell is this bloke going on about so that's good because maybe your stress levels increased because now we can reduce it well, I'm not really here to increase stress levels, but get in touch with how you feel. I notice myself in the back of my neck, my shoulders, my jaw, it gets tense. And, you know, the whole body, but it's, I really do feel it in my upper body more um, when it comes to tension, like in my head, um, my eyes, forehead. So I want you to focus on the tension that you've got in your body at the moment. And I don't mean just standard tension that helps you to walk and do normal stuff. I'm talking about the, the tension, the stress, but the tension that's uncomfortable and is unpleasant. And it, it, it calls you up a little bit like a snake about to strike, you know, it's that kind of, um, It is almost like you're being wound up. It's that kind of, and you you just need that release. But instead of snapping at someone or having a go at someone or um, doing something that could be destructive, this is something else you can do. It's It's an easy technique. It has to be easy because I'm telling you about it. I don't, I don't do complication. Um, that's why I'm single. So all this is, is I want you to get in touch with the, the tension within you. And before we start, just to remind you, I'm recording this in the afternoon. Could be background sounds. Doesn't matter because this is not sleep. You can do this anywhere you want. You could do this literally in a park on a bench. Um, Maybe not when there's someone sitting next to you, I don't know, but it's something that doesn't need quiet, okay? Um, while we do it, you can focus on my voice. Uh, you can come back and listen to the recording again and again, and each time it will be easier and it will be quicker. But you can do it on your own as well. It's very, it's very simple. So, and I know that people that listen to me regularly you may already feel relaxed. So try and forget that. Perhaps I should put a squeaky voice on. Now, now we're going to focus on the... Try not to get too tense. That that might wind you up so you get tense, but focus on what tension is there. And in some ways, it feels like it increases when you focus on it temporarily, although it isn't. 
increasing, you're just becoming more aware of more of it. You know, it's it's like the old, uh, the very old metaphor of a mountain, you know, or an iceberg, you know, the iceberg above the sea and it's, it's a lot bigger below or there's more of it at least. So that's what this is. You're basically peeling back the layers so you can see more of it and feel more of it. And as you do that, we're just going to tap. But I want you to do the speed. So you tap in the right knee with your right hand. I had to stop doing it so I could talk to you. Can't do two things at once. And tap in your left knee with your left hand. But it really is something that maybe I used to do is I'd be like that, really going quite, you know, quite fast because that's the level of the tension that I was at. And I'd be perhaps angry, frustrated, and yeah. Now there's two things that I'm going to, three things, three parts of this. Three things is, first of all, when you're frustrated and angry, tense, stressed, anxious, one part of your brain is predominant in that point, in that moment. When you tap your right hand onto your right knee, your left hand onto your left knee, you are using both sides of your brain. And the more you do it, you're using more of each side of your brain, which starts to even out. Which means, actually, as long as you're doing that, and I'm just, obviously I'm doing it quite slowly, you can't, it's pretty much impossible to hold that stress level that you had before because both sides of your brain have to work in order for you to be able to tap both of your knees with either hand. Because you've not only got the sensation of your hand moving, let's say your right hand, so that's activating the left part of your brain, but you've got your right knee is being touched, stimulating activity there, which again is stimulating the left part of your brain. Your left hand, again moving, stimulates the right part of your brain and touching the knee, the feeling of the knee being touched, stimulates the right part of the brain. It'll also stimulate different parts because you've got the movement and then you've got the feeling. Now, of course, don't do this if you've got sore knees. You know, I hope that's obvious. This is about comfort and... And don't do it hard. It might sound like I'm doing it hard, but I'm not. I think I was a little bit earlier when I was doing a frustrated one. But still, it wasn't hard. It was just more quick. And, you know, unless you've got, like, really heavy, massive hands, like my dad, then just, just you know, be a little bit careful on your, on your knees. Because he's got big shovel hands, but he's also got sensitive knees. Because, of you know, he used to be kneeling down a lot when he was younger. And that sounds wrong, doesn't it? He was an electrician, I mean. And so you're stimulating both sides of your brain, okay? Now, this isn't me just making stuff up. This is true. This is fact. Factual thing. You can't have one part of your brain being dominant when both sides are being active. Especially when you're purposefully activating both sides. Because when you're walking, for example, that is a good thing and that can calm you down. But if all you're thinking about when you're walking is that problem that you got, then you're not actively doing anything. You may be walking, but you're, you're putting more energy into what you're thinking about. With this, because you're actively doing it, you know, you're not being distracted. Well, Distraction is not a good, not a bad thing either, but you're doing it purposefully. It's not a natural thing to do, to sit there tapping your knees with your hands. It's not something that 
would normally do, is it? It's something that we're choosing to do, and therefore there's that connection with doing this, the connection between doing this and your mind evening out, both sides of your mind, your brain rather, being activated, and which means the part of your brain that was really active before with the stress and the tension is no longer, doesn't have the energy there anymore because it's been dispersed. So um, what you can do, I know I'm talking a bit and it's probably hard to get hold of that tension. Uh, I'm sorry about that, but it's one of the downfalls, one of the side effects of listening to me is tension reduces, uh, stress reduces, relaxation increases, comfort you know, increases. I'm sorry about that. That is a down, downside of listening to me. But um, so I'm, try, I'm trying to explain the process. But in the explanation of the process, um, you feel different anyway. But we'll just pretend that you've, you're doing this right from the start. So I'm going to do it now. I can't feel any tension in me at all now. It's in fact I'm uh, really relaxed in my shoulders, my head, my eyes. <laughs> I just feel quite good now, which is it's not annoying. I mean, it's obviously it's a good thing, but at the same time, um, I like to do these exercises with you when I do them. So I'm just going to go through it. It's almost like a, a dummy run, I guess. It's not because it's not really. Um, valid so much because I'm feeling quite good but the reason I'm feeling relaxed is because I was doing it earlier and that was only part of the process I didn't even do the whole thing so but at the beginning I didn't feel really wound up or really stressed or hugely tense tense I, I had a bit of that but not a huge amount so here's the process you start tapping Right hand onto the right knee, left hand onto the left knee. You don't have to have your eyes closed. You can if you want. And make sure you're sitting in a comfortable chair. And you know, just on the off chance that you could fall asleep, make sure you sit in a chair that supports your body so that if you did fall asleep, you wouldn't fall off the chair, okay? So um, that's, that's fine. And just keep tapping. Focusing on that uptightedness, that tension, maybe stress, whatever it is that you're focusing on, that is actually really, really uncomfortable. And then try to get into a rhythm of what level that's at. So if it's really, really like, and I feel I'm getting a bit tense while I do this actually, it's one way to make yourself feel more tense if you do it fast compared to if you was relaxed before, which means there's only one way it can go if you slow down. It, it reduces. It really does reduce that quickly because you get in tune with it and you follow the feeling and then you increase almost, I guess, the feeling by going even faster with your hands and then you start to slow down. And it doesn't have to be as quickly as me. You can slow down and take your time with it. And as you slow down, that feeling follows you. So you follow the feeling and then the feeling follows you. Because to start with, the feeling's happy to get stronger because that's what it wants. It's, it's, you know, it's happy there. And then you decide to slow down the tapping of your hands on your knees. And that feeling follows you as well. 
and then you feel more relaxed. And you can feel it in your shoulders, your arms, your hands, your face, your back, maybe your whole body. And And then you can just slow all the way down. And what you can do to cement this feeling just put your hands together and just let that energy because I don't know about you my hands are a bit tingly from all that um, patting on my knees and you can just allow that energy to connect between your hands which calms you down even more it almost completes the circle as it was. If you think of the right hand representing the left side of your brain, the left hand representing the right side of your brain, and now they're touching, now they're connected, keeping you calm and relaxed. And that's it. That is the whole technique. So you can practice this, do this on your own, or do this listening to me. It might be easier to do it listening to me a few times. Um, it might be fun to do it that way, but you can also do it on your own. And let me know how you get on. Please subscribe to my podcast. And uh, you can visit me on my website. All my recordings are on there. So take care of yourself. Remember to be kind to yourself. Because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.